Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got that. Nor normally this is like an unboxing and first impressions, but truthfully, <laughs> as you can see here, I've already unboxed the item and that item is the Victorinox uh, Swiss Tool Spirit MX, which is, I don't know how long this thing has been around, um, but it's the newest version of this with the integrated pocket clip. Um, so I didn't know what this was when it came to the mail and I opened it up and I thought, ah, it's my new, uh, <laughs> it's my new Victorinox multi-tool. Um, so I still want to give you guys my first impressions of it. Just before you continue, understand this is not a review. I have not spent enough time with this thing to actually review it. I'm going to give you guys some first impressions. I'm going to compare it with a couple other multi-tools here just to give you guys a quick look. I will link this guy right down in the description. It is pretty expensive for a multi-tool, so keep that in mind. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So the first thing I noticed about this guy is, and I'm going to get some of my other ones out. I do own a... Um, Leatherman Wave and a Leatherman Surge. The Leatherman Wave is definitely the one that has been used the most. And the Surge is a recent purchase because I realized I wanted a multi-tool down here in my office for this stuff I do with knives and just other things down here. And I definitely also wanted one in my truck. I don't need more than two multi-tools. If you're watching this video, you probably own, I don't know, 50 pocket knives slash multi-tools slash what, right? We do that. That's just something that we do. We like to sort of explore and learn and things. Right off the bat, I'll tell you something about the Swiss uh, Victorinox Spirit MX. The whole thing is just substantially higher quality feeling. And I think it's, it's, it's the finish uh, on the overall tool. And I think like generally uh, the tightness of the tools that come out of it. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, like the Leathermans are crap. Um, but this guy, like the Surge and the, the Wave are somewhere between 100 and 120 bucks. This guy is about 145 bucks. Everything feels a bit snappier. And in places like on the, and this might, this is going to be trivial to some people, like the final cutting bevel of the blade here on the Leatherman Wave, which is very wonky and all over the place. Um, that is not the case with the Victorinox. This is very clean, very consistent, uh, and feels great. There's also no blade play on the blade whatsoever. I also really like how the lock disengages. You can see here, not only do we have a really cool, you know, one-handed opening feature, which is, you know, you can open these with one hand. This little sort of lip right here allows you to open it with one hand, and it's sort of it's got that nice, right? There's a little mid stop right here and then it snaps into place. And this is locked until you pull down on these, you know, two little side pieces right here, just pull back on them and it unlocks. And the same is uh, the case for the other tools. Um, everything seems to kind of have this snap, right? Do you see that? So going back, opening up, snap, snap. It does that. Whereas this guy, probably should put the blade away, that'd be safe. This guy just kind of clunks into place. And that's fine. It works just fine, right? Like I said, it's going to be trivial. This guy is, not not only does it open incredibly smoothly, right? I mean, it's, it's almost too smooth. And then truthfully, there's a little bit of, right here, there's a little bit of wobble up and down. These two, the Swiss tool and the uh, Wave, do not have that. They are extremely solid. It's funny that the largest, the surge, that might just be something that I need, maybe I need to tighten those down, right? But these two are really a good size. And you know, while this is gonna be fine for my truck, like it's got everything that I need, you know, truthfully, right off the bat, I've been using this guy forever. I've had the Wave Plus for a long time, used it for all sorts of things. These two are really a lot more EDC friendly. And I'm not the first person, hardly, not even close, the first person to immediately compare these two. Um, but I'm gonna do that real quick for anybody. If you're looking for a super high quality multi-tool and you wanna EDC it, honestly, there's nothing else out there that I've, I've even been remotely interested. I'm happy I have the Surge, but if I was gonna EDC something, 
so far, definitely the Wave, and then the Victorinox um, Spirit MX is the only thing that I've ever, ever looked at that I felt like even came close. Now, it's still heavy at 7.62 ounces. Those of you who carry a single blade, but you're getting a lot of tools here. You carry a single pocket knife, right? Uh, your knife probably weighs something like four to four and a half ounces. That's fairly normal, right? Uh, the, uh, the Wave Plus, 8.61 ounces. So this guy's a little bit less. Notable things here. This guy comes with a clip. This clip is usually, usually something that you have to buy separately, but this guy still costs more money. Like I said, this guy is something like $30 to $40 less. The other thing is that the wire cutters right here, these are just integrated into the tool, right? These are replaceable and are 154 cm. So if you ever manage to completely destroy the teeth on these uh, on these bad boys here, um, you can you can still I've seen them. I don't know how much they cost. I forget, but you can purchase the replacement wire cutters now. Uh, I've seen, uh, I think I've seen Pete from Cedric and Ada test the Victorinox multi-tools. Maybe not exactly this one, but I've seen him, him test the Victorinox ones pretty hardcore. I've seen these guys tested all over the place, but I've seen this guy tested by Cedric and Ada. Pretty sure he had pretty darn good results with him. I don't think you're going to chew up those wire cutters pretty readily. Like, it's, it's not going to happen, like, super duper fast to the point where, you know, you're going to need to replace the entire tool. But if you ever do... You know, it's kind of, that's kind of it, right? The other thing to keep in mind, right? Gosh, these are really, I cannot stress this enough, guys. And I know you want me to, to get out all the tools and I'll kind of do that while I'm talking. Um, the overall feeling of quality on the Victorinox, not to say that the Leatherman isn't good. It's acceptable, right? But the overall feeling of quality on the Victorinox is just insane. Um, it's everything. It's like, you know, when you buy a brand new Victorinox, um, like a Swiss Army knife, right? And you're like, ah, it's so shiny. And, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. You've experienced that before. It's the same thing here. It's the same level of quality. I'm trying to get all these out without uh, <laughs> catching myself, right? So you have a multitude of different um, tools that you would expect to see on, you know, any type of multi-tool. In fact, this is more than I would ever need. Truthfully, right, the blade, maybe the saws, right? This is pretty useful how we have the various grinds and sort of the sharpened chisel edge, right? Um, and maybe the can opener and things like that. And maybe the scissors here and there, probably the screwdriver. So maybe I would end up using about 80%. I think that's pretty, fairly normal, right? If you buy a, a um, multi-tool, you end up utilizing maybe 80% of the thing. Um, but, uh, you know, for the amount of object you're carrying and the amount of utility that is available to you, I'd say that's pretty good, right? Um, but the the quality on this thing overall, the, just the, the snap, everything holding together so tight, right? It's really good. Another advantage that this guy, everybody has seen the Wave and they have very similar tools and these also, these tools lock out, right? Which do I think is more durable? I don't know. I imagine they're both, you know, fairly equal in terms of durability. Um, the, another advantage that this guy has right off the bat is it has that, you know, that bit driver and you can buy the ratchet extension for this thing, right? Which is a lot more money. Uh, and then you can buy a little, you know, bit set, which comes with another extender and everything that you could need to use this as a ratchet driver. It will also fit the, um, the surge. Where's the, uh. Which the thing? There it is. It's the same thing, right? This little slot here. You can buy the little flat bits, but it makes a lot more sense to just buy the, to me, it makes more sense to buy the ratchet driver and then just use standard quarter inch bits, right? That is a massive, massive thing to consider. For those of you, like these are the biggest highlights. I almost don't need to do a full review on these because truthfully, guys, all three, these, these are so freaking durable. They're so unbelievably durable. You're going to be happy with any of them, but what it's going to come down to, I think for a lot of people is, do you need that extender, right? Do you need that ratchet extender? Do you want the ability to use quarter inch bits with your multi-tool? That's why I keep the extender and I keep this bit set, which I will link all of this. Everything you're seeing here, it's all going to be linked down below. Do you need the extender and the bits, right? 
Keep that stuff with the surge of my truck. If you do not need that, <laughs> first impressions, this is just first impressions. I'll do an update video down the road. If you don't need that and you're more kind of, I just really want to get like the nicest high quality, then this is right up there in terms of, you know, something that you should consider. Mm, you know, you don't get the replaceable wire cutters, which is another thing, but this, oh man, these are nice. And it's not like you take them out and beat on them and they're going to, you know, lose their luster. It's still going to be a nice, super high quality tool. This feels just as durable. I was just so shocked. I thought for sure the Victorinox multi-tool was not going to feel anywhere close in terms of durability, right? When compared to the Leatherman Wave. Because this guy, this guy's been beat on a bit. Not to the point where it's, you know, it's not like I take it out every day and hammer it on the sidewalk just to prove that I use it. That's stupid, right? Um, but whoops, you got to get that all the way down <laughs> before you close it, right? This just feels very kind of one consistent sort of, and then it gets to a point and then it starts to get tighter, right? Same when you open it, it just kind of gets tighter and everything slides into place. This guy has more of a distinct snap, snap, and it feels, ooh, and then you get to here, right? So in my opinion, these are the ones you should consider. Are you getting that much more durability with the Surge? I've never really felt like I'm getting that much more, right? Um, it's bigger, right? If you have really big hands, you might, you can see this is about like, I wear an XL glove. So this is about how the, the surge is fitting in my hand. This guy though, it still feels plenty big. It still feels like, you know, plenty of large tool. Um, if you're going to carry these things around with you, that's why I got this for the truck. I'm not going to put this guy in my pocket. If you're going to carry him around with you every day, if you're going to EDC it. This guy's going to be the friendliest. There are a ton of other ones to choose out there. There's a bunch of it. In fact, I'll link Leatherman products in general and the other Swiss Army because uh, there's a few other ones, right? I'll link all those in general. But the ones that I have enjoyed carrying around and doing little home projects with or just taking with me to do this or that, uh, these guys, right? Pocket clip on this guy is okay. Pocket clip on this guy is head and shoulder. This pocket clip is annoying on the... Uh, on the Leatherman Wave. It really is because it's such a shallow bill and you have to fight. This guy, it's just like I say with my knives, down, ramp, continuous ramp upward, in and out of the pocket, very easy, right? Uh, I'm really impressed with this guy. But like I said, if you need that extra stuff, you need uh, the extra utility, right? And you want the longevity of the replaceable wire cutters, it might still be you know, you, it might still be a wiser choice to go with the Leatherman way. Um, but yeah, I'll report back as of, as of right now, I don't know, you know, both the, um, this, like I said, it's not a review, it's just first impressions. This guy and this guy are going to alternate, um, being down here in my office and used for various things. And it'll be alternated with upstairs. I kind of, I like to keep a, a multi-tool up, um, in the kitchen, like in the uh, junk drawer or above the refrigerator. Um, just in case, cause there's always stuff that needs to be done around the house. And then the big guy is still going to stay, uh, in my truck for sure. Um, but I'll report back on these two. Um, as my wife and I do things around our house, as we do little home projects, right? Um, I'll make sure and, um, give this guy some pocket time so I can really compare and contrast. Uh, in the meantime though, like I said, I think there's probably like a thousand videos on this exact topic on YouTube. So you guys can check them out, but, um, really cool. Uh, like I said, you can use the links down below to check any of this stuff out that you want. That's going to be pretty much it for today. <laughs> a little bit of a different video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on the Metal Complex. They'll go right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.